do you think wins a national championship first? Is it Notre Dame, LSU, or USC? I think it's Notre Dame. I really do. And part of it, pretty much the main reason is because of Marcus Freeman. Notre Dame has been on the cusp for so many years, the cusp of greatness. Now, all of a sudden, you bring in a 35-year-old coach, a young coach, a brilliant-minded coach who can connect. This guy, people said he could have done anything, right? He went, had a cup of tea in the NFL, had some injuries. He said, do I want to go back and be in athletic administration or coaching? He chose coaching. Now, all of a sudden, a few years later, he's risen up to the ranks. He's a great recruiter. He's going to get some of these top recruits that Notre Dame maybe haven't been able to get. He's going to make Notre Dame into a program that, yes, they have the prestige, but now they also have the players and the talent. That's why I think Notre Dame wins it sooner than later. Why not LSU? Uh, I don't think that Brian Kelly is the right coach or the right fit for LSU. Did y'all see what I saw when on Wednesday when he tried to fake his Louisiana accent at the basketball game? Like, that's like that's not going to work at LSU. Yes, LSU will have talent, but you've got to play the Alabamas and the Georgias of the world. I don't think they'll be able to do it at LSU. And lastly, USC. Did Lincoln Riley make the right move in going to USC? Yes, he did. But think about this. You might be able to win the Pac-12. We're talking about winning national championships. Lincoln Riley has struggled at Oklahoma when he has won at Oklahoma, but then gone to the playoff and lost, lost, and lost again. And so he'll be, he'll be good on the West Coast, but when it comes to winning a national title, Marcus Freeman is the guy for the job. And Notre Dame's already on the cusp. They might even be in there this time around. Yep. Give him two more years. Watch what happens. Tim, your thoughts. Listen, Ach, I, I I totally hear you. I just don't agree with you. Listen, uh, you said they're on the cusp. When it, the cusp of what? When they when they when the selection committee has given them the opportunity every time when it's close, Notre Dame gets the opportunity. In 2011, they get an opportunity. Waxed by Alabama, they get into the playoffs. They get waxed. They play Clemson in the ACC championship. They get waxed. They've gotten so many opportunities year after year after year, and they haven't been able to compete. Now I do think that Marcus Freeman is going to get the next level of athlete and going to take them to the next level. But I don't think they're at that level right now. Listen, they played one really good team this year and they kind of got manhandled by Cincinnati. I don't think they're as good as other people. I haven't thought that for a long time because in every big game and every big situation, they have not showed up. Yeah, they show up against Stanford's or when USC has nobody and, and, the, and, and they, they beat Virginia or they beat Navy. Congratulations. But the difference is winning a national championship against Clemson's, against Alabama's, Alabama's against Ohio State, that's where they got to take the next step. I think Marcus Freeman can do it because I think he's going to get the next level athlete, but I think Lincoln Riley can do it faster because their conference isn't very deep, because he's going to recruit around the country, because he's probably going to get two or three transfers just at their quarterback position that are going to come into play for him. And then I think that USC is saying, you know what? We're sick of not being where we were with Pete Carroll. We're going to do anything to make this happen. That's why you look at the contract they have, and they're going to do anything to bring these athletes. And I think at USC, you can recruit a better athlete easier than you can at Notre Dame. Listen, when you're a recruit, and I remember going to a recruit for the Notre Dame-BC game, and it was like seven degrees, and it was snowing, and it was awful. And then you take a trip to, to USC, which I did the next week, and it was beautiful, and they kill UCLA. It's a lot easier to recruit at USC than it is at Notre Dame. And because of that reason, I think Lincoln gets it done first. Sam, you can respond quickly. Then I want to bring Stephen A in. Well, quickly, Tim, to your point, you're right on all of your points for the past, but we're not talking about the past. We're talking about a new era, the Marcus Freeman era. Think about Ohio State. Ohio State's been playing in the Big Ten. All of a sudden, they start getting these freak athletes at receiver, these great quarterback and all of a sudden this Big Ten style of football they're not playing that style of football anymore they're playing a different style of football a style of football that takes the top off of defenses and oh by the way Ohio's not the warmest place and so Notre Dame and Marcus Freeman they're going to get the top recruits in the future on the in the past they've been trash we all know that they've lost the big games but now they have a coach who's going to get the talent is going to win the big games well let me tell you first of all I agree with Tim Tebow Sam not you and I'll tell you why. I do agree with you in terms of Marcus Freeman and how he's going to be able to upgrade the level of talent they accumulate because of his recruiting skills and what have you. But Brian Kelly wasn't some shabby recruiter. Let's remember that as well. Having said all of that, here's my thing. We throw LSU into the mix. I think LSU, the roadblock is Alabama yeah. and, and Georgia. Uh, Nick Saban and Kirby Smart. 
uh, Brian Kelly, I applaud him for taking that challenge, but it's going to be a tremendous challenge. So when we talk about them winning a national championship, we'd have to discount not one but two teams within his very own conference that happen to be the two powerhouses in the nation with the two powerhouse coaches in Nick Saban and Kirby Smart. I think that's a very daunting task. Can he pull it off? Sure, because LSU can get some things done. But we also got to see it to believe it, okay? And that's where we are with that. Lincoln Riley, here's where I side with Tim Tebow. Uh, I, I'm glad Tim Tebow has come to my way of thinking. You saw how he brought up that, that Southern California sunshine. Oh, you yeah. see how he brought it's that up? <laughs> that weather. Tim, uh, that, Tim that, spent that, some that, time that, in California. That, that, and does, his dad. that does matter. When you are strong, when you rolling, all right, when you rolling down to 10, all right, or you rolling in Southern California, all right, that Southern, that, that, that Southern California sunshine does have an impact. On, <laughs> hold on, Sam. Hold on, Sam. That's number one. Number two. Consider what we're talking about here with Lincoln Riley. Because of what USC has been through, the money that they're throwing in this direction, the money that they're throwing into the program, the ability for him to recruit, it's not just the Southern California sunshine. It's not just his resume. It's the support of the alumni. And even though they're going to be as strident and stringent in certain respects, it's not to the degree that Notre Dame is. And I think that when you look at it from that perspective, I think it's going to be easier for Lincoln Riley to recruit than it is going to be for Marcus Freeman to do so. Not that Marcus Freeman ain't going to get it done, because I think at the very least he'll do the job that Brian Kelly did. But I think when we're talking about national championships, when you're talking about the Pac-12, and you're talking about the road to prosperity that you have to endure and go through in order to get to that promised land, I think the path to that is going to be easier for Lincoln Riley than it's going to be for Marcus Freeman. And that's why I'm giving Lincoln Riley and USC the edge, and I'm agreeing with Tim Tebow here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.